Archie Luxury decided that on his return to Australia from Bangkok, he would do any job. He drove taxis. He drove taxis because he couldn't stand the IT industry. The IT industry, the computer industry. But uh, after a couple of uh, months driving taxis, Archie realized there was a job worse than IT. Taxi driving. One of these things about life is it teaches you very quickly how, how to survive and how to float. And taxi driving was something that Archie wanted to ditch really quickly. Archie applied for his first IT job in the city of Brisbane. And guess what? Archie boy managed to score an IT gig. It started off with a government department who shall remain, remain anonymous to protect the guilty. Archie was now working in the big smoke. He went from contract to contract, earning a lower middle class income. This helped Archie survive. He, uh, he kind of liked the IT stuff, mucking around with computers, mucking around with software and hardware, and most importantly, Archie's favourite work time practice. Testing the internet connectivity, a.k.a. surfing at work. Surfing at work. That's right. Archie loved to uh, Google and YouTube life in general. Anything that was a diversion from the mundaneness that was life as an IT professional, Archie was happy to do. He could justify anything. He could justify anything as long as he kept the systems running. Archie enjoyed it. He worked for many government departments before finally snagging a job with his favorite American firm, KBR, Kellogg, Brown and Root. Archie enjoyed the corporate environment in a prestige office in a cubicle. Archie's cubicle. He didn't have an office. He had a cubicle, but it was in a prestige bu- building in the, uh, in the nice part of town in the city of of Brisbane. Eventually, Archie got himself an office. That's right. He got himself an office. And uh, Archie's career for a while looked like it was actually going to pan out. Archie was the uh, middle-aged IT professional. He looked good in a a suit and a tie. And uh, Archie had that realistic characteristic called portliness. That's right. He, he looked the part. And uh, whilst Archie enjoyed doing IT cabling and doing IT fixing, installing networks, uh, moving stuff and installing stuff, it was all very good there. But uh, it was going to be short-lasting. Career depression syndrome. Career depression syndrome. Archie was uh, lower tier lower tier in the food chain and uh, he turned to a bit of drink to help ease the pain ease the squeeze big boy ease the squeeze and uh, part of Archie's career depression promotions went to Sydney Ciders and Melbourneians Archie was stuck in the Brisbane office with um, limited career prospects. He was stabbed many times. Many of Archie's IT bosses knew nothing about IT, but they were quick to criticize our Archie. In desperation, Archie changed industries. When KBR gave him the boot, the ass, the goodbye, Archie then joined a... um, a waste processing plant. That's right. Archie could ditch the tie and suit and uh, put it on for a fluoro vest. And this is where Archie enjoyed a lot of notoriety. He was big amongst the garbage men. He was big amongst the garbage men. He did network support and also helped them clean out the bins. What a perfect combo meal deal. And uh, it involved Archie's favourite stuff, rubbish, rubbish. And Archie liked the smell and the fumes and the diesel and, ah, it was just so wonderful. 
going around to all the different sites, performing IT type functions. Archie's YouTube career started to take off and uh, unfortunately all the fans one day people get very very jealous especially in the workplace so what happened is because Archie was married at the time and uh, he uh, he had a lot of fans who were sending alcohol cases of beer and booze Archie decided to get them redirected to work. That's a good, safe environment. He didn't want them left out in the sun and the rain. Unfortunately, what happened was the uh, nosy secretary said, hey, what are all these gifts? And Archie said, hey, well, I can't make enough out of IT, so I do a little bit of work as a comedian on YouTube. And uh, sure enough, it spread like wildfire. It spread like wildfire until Archie was advised to please explain his views on marriage had been really misinterpreted. The women folk didn't like his Bangkok videos, his um, horology videos. Archie was finally let go due to the politically incorrect nature of his work as a comedian. This is the life of the IT contractor. Don't piss people off or you won't actually have a job. At this point here, Archie decided to... uh, Um, Well, actually, I don't think Archie decided. The reality was he was completely unemployable. Employers were now doing Google searches and finding out who their middle-aged, overweight new staff were. Archie couldn't get a job anywhere, so decided to make YouTube videos full-time, big boy.